folks, we're live here at the Sunset Strip County Club here in Austin, Texas. Let's make some noise for comedians we're going to right now. Your first comedian, the next comic, he's, uh, he's the only Texas lawyer who loves saying the N-word more than Ted Cruz. It's Michael Dede, everybody. Michael Dede! The next comic is featuring a documentary about the funniest person in Austin where we found out she isn't the funniest person in Austin. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Avery Moore! Avery Moore! The next comic is just like every woman in America. He opens up for Matt Rife. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's Alex Carew, everybody. Alex Carew. <laughs> Let's make it loud. Let's bust it up for our host, the, the guy who's running this whole thing. Let's make it loud for Jay White. It's Yay! Jay White. Woo! Take that card. Thank you so much for coming to Wrong, all eight of you. Ten of you. Oh, my well, God. Well, Fantastic. Hey. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. We are in for a treat tonight, guys. This is a comedy show that's disguised as a game show. This is not your average game. Make some noise if you like game shows out there. Make some noise if you like game shows. Of course, who doesn't like a game show? You know how most game shows you want to see people do things right? Not us. We want to see people do things wrong. And that's how these yeah. comedians are going to win tonight. Yeah. We're going to hear some fucked up jokes. We're going to ask them some fucked up questions. <laughs> and we are going to be a little bit wrong. You guys ready? You guys are ready to support and get into a dark, weird, uncomfortable place with everybody? Yeah. That is the spirit. All right, let's uh, introduce, by the way, we haven't really said hi to my man over here in the corner. He's Whoa. the George Gray to my Drew Carey. It's Tyler Mesnerich, everybody. Hey, everybody. You don't have to clap for me. I made you clap like 10 times. Oh, yeah, but and I, I made you clap stuff. like six times. Yeah, thanks for dressing up. Of course. Thank yeah, you for dressing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you dressed up. He's he, he looks like you just plucked him off the street. Actually, can we just show off this shirt? I got Tyler this shirt from a homeless man in Los That's Angeles. That's amazing. So this is, uh, we never forget September 11th, hashtag united we stand. And it's, it's Charlie Brown and Snoopy It's Charlie Brown and Snoopy, and it's also, I don't <laughs> think this is the, the New York skyline either. No, <laughs> no that's, that's Madison, that's... Wisconsin. That's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's going to be keeping score based on how everybody wrong everybody is, how funny, how wrong everybody is, and based on y'all's reactions. By the way, the audience, y'all are an important part of the show. You guys can win prizes too, all right? We already started you off. Yorgo came out and checked in with a couple of y'all. See, so you had a fucked up week. We want to find out why you had a fucked up week. We want to find out a little bit more, and we've asked some questions. we got some good answers here. And I think our comedians are going to guess, uh, pick who they think deserves... <laughs> why is this still on the screen? I don't know why that's still on the All screen, right. Tyler. <laughs> ah, come on. What's going on? Everything's going wrong. Okay, so we're going to see if anyone in the audience is having a worse week than this guy. That's the real first thing. And we want you guys to hear why their weeks were fucked up. And you're going to see, you're gonna, we're going to hear who do you think had the most fucked up week. And maybe they might have had a more fucked up week than this guy. We're going to find okay. out. I'm not blocking anybody. Am I blocking you guys? We got... See? It doesn't matter. Scoot, 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 scoot. It's out of the way. Scoot, 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 scoot. Yeah, you guys, hey guys, those seats are open. Yeah, you can come to the center. Can y'all hear me? All right, on the Come right note. on in the middle. Now you got it. I like, we got just, an, it's like a line of ants marching listen, just straight guys, down. Uh, can I say something? On a serious note, we all move closer. Because if, if you did, you're going to have a lot more fun. You'll have a lot more fun. Many, we've been doing this for a long fucking yeah. time. It works it, when there's a People never want to laugh when they're spread out because it's like awkward being the only one, but we're close for having fun. Come this on. is not one Will of those shows. Everybody sir? kiss <laughs> each other. He's serious? No, no, this is right. I'm going to say. kiss oh, each no. other. This is oh, not everyone one of those kiss. shows on, where man. we are here to fuck with y'all as audience <laughs> members. Yeah, this isn't a Death Jam show. I'm not going to be like, crack a mother... I'm not going to do that, <laughs> all right? Just I will. We're here to... <laughs> we're going to fuck with them. Y'all are fine. Y'all are not going to catch any strays. Don't Thanks you worry. Thanks for doing that. All right? All yes, right. thank you. Thank you. Let's hear who had a fucked up week. Our first contender... Buddy, in five words or less, why your week was fucked up, my uncle said I'm cute. Buddy, where are you at? It's one of these two, I guarantee. <laughs> giggling. Okay, your buddy, the giggling. Is that your uncle? Because <laughs> <laughs> you are kind of cute. You are wrong. That is cute. Okay, oh. got it. All right, now bad. yours, uncle. It's not that bad. <laughs> now we got another option. I've done worse. 
<laughs> uncles are known to do much worse. I like that you guys like, just hey, say you're cute. move the audience closer. We're not going to talk to you. Immediately like, hey, you're pretty cute. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I know, sorry, sorry. This is the only time, maybe. All right, we got next up, we got John, in five words or less, why your week was fucked up, getting a divorce. Give it up for John. Give it up for Which John. John? John. Hey. That's right. John, it definitely yes. wasn't his Are decision. Are you divorcing her or is she divorcing you? Um, okay, you're getting divorced. Fuck yeah. <laughs> there we go. She left you. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> That's that, a good that choice. Was, Newly single wearing salmon. I get it. That's right. all I needed to know. He's on the I'll tell you what, you're about to get all the pussy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Shop at Vineyard Vines, get reel it in. Pussy juice. <laughs> <laughs> or final. He's bald, he can swim faster. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's more aerodynamic that way. <laughs> Slide right, dude. Our final fucked up week is from Zeb. Five words or less where you're fucked up because of this form. Because we made you participate. Aw, Zeb. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, I that's, actually, that's actually very that's funny. That's a pretty yeah. good answer. Who's the comedian amongst us? Who's Zeb? Oh, okay. He's supporting yeah. his... Okay, that's Supporting good. his divorce friend. That's good. That's good. Now, between our three, who do we think in the most fucked up week? Who might have had a worse week than this guy? Do we think it was uh, Zeb, Divorce John, or uh, Cute Buddy? Can I ask a question? Sure. How recently divorced? No, it's, we just, I mean, I just told her. Just <laughs> it's told today. Her today? Do you tell her today? So you, yeah! You, so you tell, that's you fucking right. Well, that's that's great. So you didn't have a fucked up week, you're about to. Yeah. Do you yeah, have okay. kids? Not, not together. No. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, you've done good. this before. <laughs> Get a child of divorce. I was like, oh, okay. tell me about oh, it, brother. Know. Those kids are really going through it. <laughs> That'd be a wild move. Hey, I'm divorcing you. Watch the kids. I'm going to a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also, going to also, six. Also, also, and I'm going to shit out, on you the whole time <laughs> we're at the comedy show. Before he leaves, I'm like, going to go find a shirt. horse cop, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what. All right. That's good. Who do we think? Do we think it's John? I feel like maybe John. John is about to have the most fucked up week. John. Do we think John had a most fucked up, more fucked up week than this guy? Yes? That's a, that's a vibrant yes from the what audience. What if he gets smashed wow. by a big old that's... anvil? <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. both have terribly equally bad shirts. John, do you think you're having a worse week than this guy? Sight unseen? No, it's pretty bad. I don't know why that felt racist. Let's find out. Roll that clip. Okay. Oh, got denied on the kiss. Oh. oh. And uh, a little pissed off. Flip the camera off there. John. John John's oh, having brother. a month. John is having a worse week than this guy. That means, John, congratulations. John. Give him a prize. John, you win a prize. Tyler, tell him what he won. He won. Uh, all prizes are from the Goodwill uh, here in Austin. Uh, this is the book Private Parts by Howard Stern. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, it's in paperback Let's with go, 60 dude. new pages. Let's go, baby. I love when I see that book in, in thrift stores. I love the cover so much. How many thrift it's stores so, are you in? I go to thrift stores three, five, four times a week, man. Oh, three, five. How do you go down? <laughs> three, five, four three, times five, four a week, once? brother. That's how I fucking self sued bro. <laughs> Is this how the show's supposed to go? Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> well, let's keep it going. Without further ado, now we've got our worst week out of the way. Now the pump has been primed. Let's rock and roll without further ado. Let's Let's get fucked up. Let's get fucked up. We have a theme song for this segment. What these comics are going to do, they are going to tell us their most fucked up jokes. I don't know what that means to them. They might go dark, they might go dirty, but they will definitely be wrong. We're going to hear five minutes short set from each of our comics, and we are going to start off with Michael Dayday. Make it loud for Michael Dayday! Michael Dayday! Let's go, Dayday! Keep it going for Jay Lights, everyone. He's in the building. There we go. Give it up for yourselves. Thank you all for coming. Um, are y'all having a good day so far and everything? Y'all good? Yeah? All right. I need y'all to laugh with your mouths open, okay? I, a lot of you are laughing with your eyebrows, and it's hurting my feelings, okay? Let's get some ha-ha. Like this guy, he's, yeah, let's get it. There we go. My pink drink. This is a Shirley Temple. Y'all like those? Yeah. They're delicious. Alcohol's out. Diabetes is in. We're doing Woo. it. All right. We're That's doing so some fun. fucked up jokes, right? We can all agree these jokes are fucked up. This is something no one would say. Let's get to them. I used to be a teacher. Any teachers in the crowd? Any of y'all teachers? Fine. Fuck those kids. You don't need them, right? 
So I used to be a teacher. Uh, I taught elementary school. That was my job. I taught elementary school. And a lot of people say really fucked up shit to guys who work with young kids. I don't know why. You don't ask. They just tell you all kind of fucked up shit. One time I taught first grade. Had this guy drop his daughter off in my classroom, pull me aside and say, hey, buddy, I don't like that you're a guy and you work with little kids. That's creepy to me. I don't like it. it makes me uncomfortable, right? Yeah, it's fucking weird. So for some reason, I just look at this guy and he, he's just like, I just wanna make sure you don't do anything to my daughter. And for some reason, I look at this guy and I go, whatever, dude, your kid's not even that cute. Which, why <laughs> would I say that? <laughs> I mean, the night, I was like, get this fucking ugly ass kid out of my face, all right? I'm not going to jail over this, look at it. I like being a teacher, it was a really fun job. Uh, being a teacher is interesting though, because it's the only job in America uh, where at any point during your day, a white teenager might shoot you. That's pretty... <laughs> That's the only job. Cops don't have to worry about that. You know, police don't have to worry about that. I, I got a cousin. He's in a gang right now. He sells drugs and guns for a living, you know? At no point during his work day does he ever go, run, nigga, it's Cody. That's never happened. <laughs> People who, there we go, laugh with your mouth open. Don't cover your mouth, all right? Come on, let's get it out. Let's get it out. Uh, a lot of people... The, the, anytime a school shooting happens, they always try to blame it on people who are mentally ill, right? I think that's really fucked up. I don't believe that. That's what this news always says. Well, we believe the shooter to be mentally ill, right? I don't know if that's true or not. Because I feel like sometimes they say it too soon before they even catch the guy. You know what I mean? Like the guy's still, the shooting's still going on. They're like, oh, we think the guy's mentally ill. How do you know that, right? Like remember in Uvalde, right? That guy crashed his car, went to the school, the cops had a panic attack for whatever reason, because they're giant pussies, right? He's in the school, and the news, CNN was like, we believe the shooter to be mentally ill. How did you know? You haven't caught him yet. What'd you guess? What'd he leave behind some Asperger footprints walking into the <laughs> Officer, we found these adult-sized Velcro shoes right here. Look at <laughs> Little autism residue on the leaf. Did you see that? I got that foot. How do they know? You know what I think? I think it's the haircuts. Yeah, because they all got that little, little swoop. <laughs> they got that little swoop. Am I wrong? Do they not? Do they not have the little swoopy? It's like they all go to sports clips and they're like, listen, Columbine the top, right? <laughs> you Sandy hooked my sides a little bit. I got a big, got a big Tuesday coming up. I don't want to, okay. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Virginia Tech, hey, there we go. See, he's British, he knows comedy, he's smart. These Americans, they're slow, they don't. The only way Americans laugh, you gotta make noise. Kevin Hart, Fluffy, they don't get jokes, they're stupid. <laughs> Look at him laughing, see? They're dumb, they're like monkeys, you have to, if I did that same joke and went <laughs> they would die laughing. They're dumb here, they can't read. Do you know the average American can't read and comprehend the last two Harry Potter books? They don't even know, they, they're, they're dumb. It's, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to go off. I don't think you're dumb, sir, I don't. I just think, you know, people who look like you might be dumb, maybe, I don't know. This is, <laughs> all right. More fucked up jokes, can we do one more? All right, let's do one more. Um, stop dating, stop dating white women? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know, it is, it's too hard. It really is, you gotta pretend friends is, yeah, they, you gotta pretend friends is funny and all that stuff. It sucks, you know. My last girlfriend was white. She was a rescue, you know. And I... <laughs> all right, let's slow down here, buddy. I'll be doing the jokes around here. No. White girls cry too much. That's why I stopped dating them. They do. They cry all the time. Am I right about that, ma'am? Do they cry? You ever had a white roommate? Do they cry a lot? All the day? Having a white girlfriend is like having a BMW, right? Like, it sounds like a good idea, but they break down a lot. And they were made by racists. There we go. Okay, all right. I'm Michael Day Day. Thank you all so much. Right. Michael Day Day, everybody. It's not, it's, not, it's not easy to do. And let's keep that going for the nice fucked up stylings of Avery Moore. Hey, what's up, fuckers? How's it going, everybody? Ladies, have you ever been uh, sucking dick? Have you ever been sucking a dick? <laughs> and maybe it's allergy season and you get a little flimmy or maybe you swallow your own spit a little bit. I, my mouth gets very, very wet when I'm sucking dick. And I, you just, you, uh, you start to choke a little bit and you have two options, right? You can either take it out of your mouth and clear your throat 
in a really gross way, like, <laughs> like that. Or you can just sound like a little monster for like two seconds with it still down your throat, like, <clears throat> you guys know what I'm talking about? You got, have you heard of the two choices? When you're sucking dick and you start to choke and you can pull it out or you can just be a little monster and just go, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You guys have never had to be a little monster? No? <laughs> All right, that's okay. Anybody go to Catholic school? Do I have any Catholic heads? Woo! Where are my Catholics at? Yeah? All right. Go into, go into hell because we're all idolaters, right? <laughs> I went to Catholic school when I was a kid. My mom went to Catholic school in the 50s. That was pretty fucked up, right? And all the nuns were raping all the kids and the priests were raping all the kids. Nuns rape too. Nuns rape a lot. Did you know that? <laughs> the nuns be raping. Nuns be raping all over this, this whole world, actually. I was going to say this city. Uh, this city built on rock and roll and nun rape. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nuns are rapists. Um, it's fucking nuts and they're abusive they're beating everyone right my mom has scars on her fucking knuckles from some dumb cunt hitting her cause she was doing too many bits cause my mom's funny like me I bet she was in the back of the class fucking killing back there fucking telling great jokes and a nun came and just beat the shit out of her right but what if they're get, what happens when they try it on the new generation do you guys have any kids or any nieces or nephews of generation alpha you guys know this new one, the one that Joe Rogan named Generation Alpha, right? No? <laughs> These kids don't give a fuck, and they're not scared of anything, and they're they're from the internet and they're so horny. Do you guys know these little kids that are horny? <laughs> Have you guys seen all the little horny kids running around? My nephew Cameron, if we enrolled him in Catholic school today, and he went tomorrow and he started cutting up, because he fucking would, and he got rap tap tapped on the fucking knuckles, right? He'd be like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Do it again. Oh, Sister Margaret, can I get on? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Do it again. Do it with me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And all the little kids in the class would be like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. all the little four year olds are like, Ooh, oh, uh. just little kids everywhere touching themselves and rubbing themselves. And the nun's like, <laughs> like, like hate kill or some shit. <laughs> and then she fucking explodes. <laughs> then her head explodes like the Mar like Mars attacks. <laughs> right? This is how we're gonna take down the Catholic Church is with all the horny children of Gen Alpha. <laughs> right? It's exciting. It's exciting new times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sober. <laughs> I've, been, <laughs> um, I've been sober for 60 days. That's pretty crazy, right? Um, six, 66 days from weed. Um, just kidding. Uh, from cocaine and alcohol and cigarettes. Thank you very, thank you very much. I'm very vulnerable up here right now. I feel like Jin A from Forrest Gump at, when she does all the heroin and it's raining outside and Freebird is playing. Remember when she's in the hotel and it's like, Marky Freebird, yeah. And she climbs up and she's gonna kill herself. Do you guys remember that part of Forrest Gump? That's how this feels right now. That's how I feel. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I was like, Jin A, right? Fucking bitch. Jenny is a bitch. Eight fucking deserved those AIDS. Leave it. I'm just kidding. She didn't. She didn't deserve the AIDS. All right. She didn't deserve the AIDS. Um, I think I had one more joke, but I can't remember it. Oh, I do remember it now. Sorry. I'm mentally ill. Um, I got, uh, so I've been sober, right? Uh, but I've been smoking a lot of weed. I've only been breathing weed. I haven't been breathing air anymore. And uh, that's called California sober, right? And I just, I don't know if I can cut it with just California sober. I think I need something stronger because I used to like to do all the drugs, you know? I, I think I maybe need to be like Arizona sober, right? I can still do inhalants. I can still sniff paint, <laughs> you know? Like if it keeps me clean from the booze, I can get my nose a little silver, you know what I'm saying? Is that all right, you know? Maybe, I can, maybe I can quit heroin and I'll be Pennsylvania sober, right? I don't know. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> Avery Moore, everybody. And keep that nice energy going for your last comic. It's Alex Kuro. 
Cool. I'm also California sober. I just thought it meant gluten free though. I'm off bread. You guys are fucking fun. Not really, that was a lie, sorry. <laughs> this is fun, I'm trying to figure out how, what the most fucked up jokes I have. I don't really have fucked up jokes. I have shit about, uh, you guys like Canadians? All right, the rest of us, fuck them, right? Those stupid snow Mexicans. <laughs> I, I was just in Canada, and Canada is, it's so easy to get into. I don't know if you guys know how easy Canada, Canada, that's how you have to say it too, by the way. You have to say it, Canada. It's because it's such a sweet, soft place. It's gotta be like, Canada, welcome to, that's how they say it too when you get there. They're like, welcome to Canada, bienvenue. <laughs> America, do you see the difference? Do you understand? Like Canada, USA, it sounds more dangerous. Like we got to Canada and they were just like, what brings you to our beautiful country? I was like, we're doing shows, come do shows. They're like fucking, welcome to Canada. And then we come back to America and they're like, get the fuck out of the car! <laughs> so Canada sucks. The Tim Hortons are also weird. I don't know if you guys, did. Tim Hortons are basically Starbucks, but it's like all the, it's like all the employees that got fired from Starbucks. Like all the racist employees are there. I grew up in New Orleans, so I can say that joke. You guys, uh, I'm from Louisiana originally. Hold your applause. Uh, my first pet was ringworm, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> and Louis, I grew up in Louisiana. I heard about racism a lot. I heard about racism a lot. It was a thing I heard about. But I, I really did grow up like as one of the only white kids around. So I didn't know what racism was. Like, as a kid, you had to feel things, right? You can't just say something. You gotta be like, you can't just tell a kid something. They gotta feel it. Like, you could be like, don't touch it, it's hot. And kids would be like, really? I don't go to touch it. Like as a kid, if I saw a black kid that wasn't good at sports, I was like, he must be hurt. He's probably warming up for the big game, right? <laughs> so I grew up around racism, but I didn't believe in it. I didn't think it was a real thing. Like the first time I heard the word Siamese, I was like, that sounds delicious. I'll take two of those. It comes to too great. I'm hungry. Let's do this. So racism was a weird thing to me. I didn't really believe in it. And then I started getting older and I started understanding it. I did. Like I, I, I had to stop going out with my black friends. Because when I go up my black friends, they'd get all the girls. they get hit on way more than me. And if that was reparations, I'd rather pay the money. I really would, guys. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be fucked up jokes. You guys don't understand the, the idea behind the thing? I used to be a teacher. There we <laughs> Just go. start doing Michael's jokes. <laughs> Anybody in here having sex? <laughs> Just one person having sex? You guys aren't fucking each other? I thought he thought you were cute, dude. Let him, man. Uncles apparently are the best. It's their first time for everybody. I, uh, I didn't used to be good at sex. I got, as I got older, I got better. These guys are laughing way too hard at the uncle jokes. <laughs> this is, you guys are right? A little homoeroticism going on the front. That's good. Thanks for dressing up and wearing shorts. I know it's hot, but it's still an event, you know? It's still a thing. I, uh, I, I was having sex with this girl the other day. Fuck you guys. I really was. It was awesome. <laughs> Yeah. That's not cool. What you reacted, dude? Say it again. I was fucking, Say it again. Yeah, yeah. I was fucking. I was in it too, man. I was yeah. beating the brakes off this bitch. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and my dog jumped up on the bed, and I forgot that was a weird thing. I did, because I was having sex my whole life with my dog touching my leg most of the time. If anything, he's just good for cleanup too, though, right? Don't groan. They love it. We're starting. To, okay. I started. To, she's like, I need a towel. You're like, No, you don't. <laughs> so I'm going at it. I'm just fucking plowing this whore. And uh, <laughs> uh, and, uh, and my dog jumps on the bed and she feels him. She's like, what's he doing in here? And I was like, that's just his thing. He likes the warmth. And she's like, he's got to go. And I was like, honestly, I can't come unless he's in the room. <laughs> it's my emotional cum animal. <laughs> uh, so I know a lot of girls, a lot of girls love Target. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. White women are here. It's the worst. Yeah, white women are in the building. You guys fucking love your scented candles. That's good. But but guys, we fucking hate Target, right? Yeah, all mostly single. It makes sense. <laughs> like, you, are you guys together? How long have you been together? 11, 12 years? That's why you guys aren't even touching each other. It's just like, she's got it. She's had enough. Do you like Target, ma'am? It's great. It's great. <laughs> okay. You can hold your excitement. It's okay. <laughs> Women fucking, like, what do you call Target, guys? 
Tarche, yeah, exactly. Tarche. You could be chased by a murderer. Is that the light light or is that the second one? Am I running the light on wrong? No fucking way. <laughs> um, this is supposed to be a Joe Biden book about how he's a pedophile, but I can't get to the rest of it. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Alex Kiro, everybody. That was what I was worried at first that you weren't going to be as fucked up as Michael and Avery well, were. I, I, I heard how fucked up she was talking about kids getting fucked by nuns. I was like, okay. That's just <laughs> the truth, man. Because <laughs> I mean, like I'm not I'm a fucked fucking, up comedian. I'm, I'm just out here trying to spread kind of a word. I'm kind of a good person. And she's like, nuns are getting fucked up by children. I'm like, oh my God, I guess I'll this be racist. Great. <laughs> you guys didn't respond also, at all. Also, <laughs> how did you not know that Canadians, if you're, you said Bienvenue, that's German. Bienvenue, no, Bienvenue is, is French. What? No, yeah. bonjour is French. No, Bienvenue is like goodbye. Bienvenue. Why serious. would you say hello if you're no, coming? No, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm coming in and then they're waving by. Bienvenue. I'm coming. Hey. Hey. I'm, I'm sorry. Dude, I'm we can be fucking. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, can we, we be really coming right into Canada? Canada and escape Bienvenue. Bienvenue. Yeah, Bienvenue is <laughs> French, dog. Damn. <laughs> Tyler was over here telling me it was <laughs> German. German. No. German is good and tough. Good and oh, tough. God damn it. Wait, there's not even a Bienvenue. Everybody boo yet. Tyler for giving me wrong information. Oh, Bienvenue. Two specials in college, dude. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Yeah, Tyler's About a six racist. Years ago would be a good thing I don't even know if he has a high school German. education. Look at him, dude. <laughs> Tyler I'm, actually I'm, has a master's of arts degree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I'll okay. Oh, that helps. <laughs> Not <laughs> even a master of fine arts, just MA. Yeah, I'll, yeah, be the, like, I'll be the first painted. one to say it. Uh, I'll, I'll say it first. White people have too many languages. So it's too many. <laughs> I don't think. Y'all need one. Europe is not that Hold big. on. Wait, wait, hold hold on. That's not true. You got, Africa has like 12 different languages. All right. All right. I think it's way more than 12, bro. Okay, oh, everybody. Hold on. I was just kidding. You're over here talking shit. Hold on, dude. We got to we got to your name with why, bitch. We got to move on to the next round, everybody. Make some noise for all of your fucked up comedians, and let's hear some scores from Tyler. How's everybody doing, Tyler? All right. In third place, we have Alex with 600 points. That's wow, that's away. so many. I feel like that's... You took just one away? Yeah, just one point. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and Michael and Avery are tied with 800 points. All right, Woo! we're off to a good start. Let's go. Well, can I, what was the point-based system? Don't it's, worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Tyler doesn't tell me how it works, and I don't ask. Yeah. Oh, I, did I have more before I started making fun of you? You, you watch it. That's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, it's time for our next round in Tweetment, everybody. Now, yeah, we take, we'll take some claps and start around. Somebody's this a trained audience well member. So this is how uh, this round works, everybody. We have all said some crazy shit on social media in the past, right? And thankfully, most people forgot about it. But now, we have a crack team of researchers who went and dug up some wild posts from everybody's past on the show, including mine. What we're going to do is we're going to show some tweets and some other posts, and we're gonna make everybody guess what they think they said all those years ago. We're starting off with one of mine, just to make sure everybody knows. Look, this is a scary place. It's okay, yeah, my heart's racing. <laughs> it's a scary place so for hot. everybody. My face is so hot. <laughs> and I will be scared too. So let's go ahead and start things off with mine. What do we got here? All right, I said this uh, July 29, 2014. I don't know much about life, but I know blank. That's a good. That's a good one. It sounds worse coming from his British ass. Yeah, it does. I, mean, I was gonna oh, say, have sex like, one day. Oh, I have sex like, one day in it. Oh, well, stuff well, a, I'll sweep well, a chimney. Just, what? What? Somebody well, check his. Somebody check you his. You want to hear my impression of British people? Yes. We live on this island. <laughs> <laughs> they all do something. Brexit. I thought he said breakfast. Uh, I couldn't hear you well, because of my little malformed <laughs> ears from all the in, all the inbreeding. Uh, <laughs> just boy. give Scotland what they want, you piece of shit. <laughs> Let's see our first option. Stupid. They are stupid. <laughs> they are so stupid. I don't know much about life, but I know that when you walk past a pet store, it shouldn't smell like a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> That's really nice. funny. <laughs> nice. That that is worth one like what? at least. <laughs> 2014. You were just starting you out. I was. You were new. Oh, I've been I've been four years in. This is not really an excuse. All right. <laughs> It's a good, it's, you know what? It's a good picture. Thank yeah. you. That's a recent picture. That, this was recent. Recent, vi you know, yeah, Twitter, we can't pull back in the archives. I don't have time to explain how internet archive works. Let's keep moving. Avatar. I don't know much about life, but I know that my hips don't lie. Don't you see this baby? This is perfection. Shakira, hashtag Shakira's for the boys. Right. 
another one like, God damn. I don't think I wrote that one because I couldn't even say it. Yeah. I don't think you wrote this. Nobody liked it? Let's move on. All right. I don't know much about life, but I know that if you have a stutter, don't say the word vinegar around black people. <laughs> uh, wait, you might have written this one. Oh, I might have written... That's a... God, oh, fuck. That's a good one. Okay. That's a great one. I, all right, listen, I'm going to wait to guess till the end, just like you guys should when it's your turn, but for a couple points, which one do you think is the real tweet? Can I, uh... uh the Chinese food one. Chinese food? Chinese food. Chinese food? I think it's this one. Okay. I have a feel. I'm going to, I think it's Chinese food. I think I'm, ah. I'm going to go with Chinese food. I wish I was clever enough in 2014 to have written this, but this is, this seems too recent. This seems too recent. Let's see what we got. Hey, hey, it's Chinese yeah, restaurant. I gave you more credit as a writer. I did. Worthy of one like, absolutely, for <laughs> sure. Let's go ahead and move on to uh, Michael Dayday. Michael Dayday, come on up. Hey, let's go. Let's hey, see I'm what you do. said. Let's see what I said. I... So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is from December 25th, 2016. Feel free to come a little closer to the to nine the, years old. Why were you so hateful? Stool, if you like. Christmas. Did you not get the gift you wanted? You had to go oh, out to wait, white this people? This is on Christmas. This is incredible. This is on Christmas at noon. So we know what side of my family I was visiting. That's... <laughs> <laughs> two things white people know a lot about. One and two. I mean, if you see what you think the real answer is, don't guess it. Okay. Save okay. it to the end, but we're going to see what our options are here. Two things white people know a lot about. Miley Cyrus and incest. <laughs> Big fan of both. Uh, two things white people know a lot about. Guns and coolers. They do. They, like, have you go. seen a white guy with a Yeti? They know all about it. You're, you're, you're giving it away. You're giving it away. You got a cooler with a gun rack. Hey, cool it. Two things white people know a lot about. Kwanzaa and Irish slavery. <laughs> I want it to be that one. I want it to be that one so bad. I, agree. I, I wish it was that one. Fitting for the holidays. Avery, Alex, which one do you think is the real tweet? Um, yeah, I, wanna, I want it to be Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. <laughs> oh, okay, I want it to on. be this one. I, I got to gain points, so I'm going to go with the uh, 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 with coolers. We got Kwanzaa. Cooler. We got coolers. Do you know which one the real tweet is? No, I don't. Which one, which one do you think it is? I think it's the first one. Because Miley Cyrus, Cyrus and incest. Yeah, she, she was, was she big. acting black then? Yeah, my yeah that was Probably. like VMA's twerking time. Oh, that was a horrible yeah. time. You want to yeah. change? You want to do... No, no, no. I, I, I want to trust his judgment, but I also don't. All right. <laughs> well, let's see what the real tweet is. It's no! guns and coolers! No! I know you better than you know yeah. you! <laughs> you got it tweeted, cool. bitch! Get out of here. Michael Data, everybody. Yeah! And now let's see the entweetment of Avery Moore. Uh -oh, SpaghettiOs. All right, Avery, come on right over here. Now, Avery is uh, banned. banned. Super fucking banned on Twitter. Permanently for years, because I threatened Ted Cruz's life. <laughs> you got banned and before Trump. And then I Trump. replied for five days to all the people that replied to me. Um, it was a fun week, and I've never been on Twitter ever since then. We tried We, we tried looking up your old Twitter yeah. on the Internet Archive. This is the only archive picture that we could find. Uh, we started tweeting for comedian, ISIS. Comedian, fuck the police. <laughs> <laughs> An all-female Garfield reboot, Joan Arbuckle and Girlfield. That's, That's pretty good. That's one of my good. favorite jokes I ever wrote. That's a pretty good tweet. No one liked it, though. Meemaw's Little Bing Bong. That's Girl, great. Girlfield yeah. is really good. Top-tier Twitter yeah. name, Meemaw's um, Little Bing Bong. Thank you very much. Uh, Elon won't let me on. Like, uh, he won't let me back on. But you know I've what? I've appealed so many times, and they won't let me back on. We went to your Facebook and said. Oh, no. And we found this post from September 11th, 2013. <laughs> One day I'll be able to blank and not regret it. Wait, can is I just it, can I just the answer get... come? <laughs> I was about to say that. It you might son be of a bitch. I don't know. I no. If it was on Facebook, I've always been friends with my mom, so I don't think I was as I talk about come all the time now. But back <laughs> then, I probably wouldn't have said come because my mom could see uh, it. Um, one I like, don't fucking know. Three comments. We're gonna see yeah. some options. Remember, if you think you know what it is, don't she say it until okay, okay, the very <laughs> end. One day, September. One day I'll be able to jihad and not regret it. One day I'll be able to eat coleslaw and not regret it. 
<laughs> That's a very heavy thing to say. <laughs> I fucking love sides. Do you, are you guys sides people? Why does Where, everybody have one? The land of barbecue, man. I'm oh, like, yeah. I'm like, la, 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 la. Just give it to me. Oh, so why does everybody have one fucking like, guys? What are you doing? I one day. One, like. one day I'll be able to celebrate jihad and not regret it. <laughs> <laughs> also a very angry <laughs> tweet. <laughs> or a post. Oh, is that, that I don't know. I don't and know. one day I will be able to spend $12 <laughs> and not regret it. <laughs> still true to this day. I still haven't gotten there. Backstage, Avery was just talking about spending her last $5 on a P. Terry's cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. It's all right. I get paid soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we get paid from this show? Yes. <laughs> all right. Absolutely, you are. Another Shirley Temple for the ladies. Welcome to comedy, where you lose money on every show you do. Um, Alex, Michael, which one do you think is the real tweet? I think the last one. Twelve dollars. We were all broke in 2013. Everyone here, even if you weren't, you were. You yeah, were. I had just moved here like a year ago, a year before in 2012, oh, wow. oh, yeah. and had nothing. Um, so oh, yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's this one, and I still think it's true to this day. Yeah. Yeah. It is, buddy. What about you, Avery? Which one do you think it is? I think it's $12. All right. The real tweet or the real post on Facebook is, one day I'll be able to eat coleslaw and not regret it. It's a diarrhea joke on (laughs) 9-11. This bitch just got it tweeted, everybody. 9-11. 9-11. Diarrhea. It's a big theme with 9-11 today. Oh, yeah. All right. We got Avery Moore coming out. We got Alex Kiro coming in, everybody. Alex. You're Sorry, welcome. I got confused. Oh, it's okay. We're just making real spider web of microphones <laughs> yeah. up here. It's going to be great for the tech team. Um, hi. Thanks later. Hey, there you go. All right. Now, Alex. I'm really worried about this. Actually. You do actually have a Twitter, but your Twitter, it, frankly, it, it sucks. It's not even good. We just <laughs> didn't find anything that makes I you just look tweet funny. Sports. So I we, did not tweet that. We found your Facebook instead. <laughs> It's December 18th, 2018. This is the most successful out of anybody's. It got four likes. <laughs> One of them was a love. Um, you are worth more than you know. Take risks, live life to the fullest, and don't be afraid to fail. Hashtag motivation, hashtag Taco Tuesday. Who is that queer? That's not me. <laughs> there is a, a picture that's associated with this, and you're going to have to guess which one is the real picture. Yeah, he wasn't, I was gonna even, go with Epstein, he wasn't even relevant then, dude. Shut up. You fucking failed as a country. <laughs> He was relevant to a lot of 12 year old girls. It was, it was on December 18th, which is the start of Kwanzaa, so. Yeah, right, yeah. I'll fuck you all too. I thought it was. Dude, dude they're nothing. not fun! I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see the first option. All right, it's a picture of a cow. It says, I'm not a burger, I'm actually 24 roasts, 28 T bone steaks, 10 sirloin steaks. It's a, it's a meme about a cow. <laughs> there you go. All right, option two. <laughs> okay. That's a bunch of police who saved one marijuana pipe. Big bust for those boys. Big yeah. bust. Good for them. Big, big bust. Michael, you... Shout out to the police. Big <laughs> bust. Shout out to the police. Michael, you know these guys, right? <laughs> now let's see our third option. That was Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> okay, this is actually tough. <laughs> um, before you... Where you guess, Alex? Which one do y'all think it I is? I think it's old drunk you. <laughs> yeah. It's old cried? glug glug Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> old boofing Greg Kavanaugh. Oh, Brett Kavanaugh. Big boofing Tylenol. Big boofing Brett. <laughs> Michael, which one do you think it is? I think it's the I think it's the first one. I think it's the first one. Okay. Yeah. Is there any reason why? Because that just seems like something someone from Louisiana would post. I don't. Know. Wait, like you know, that's not like I'm not like I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> he said the first one. What? The cow one. The no, one. but I don't know who the fuck that is. Oh, oh I love Brett Kavanaugh. So that's also something a guy from Louisiana would say. What the fuck is called Brett Kavanaugh turns you on? They started making out with Brett Kavanaugh on the screen. Yeah. Hey. All right. There we go. Yeah, he's talking This is YouTube. good. This guy is really I love good. you guys. I love that y'all know shit. Thank this you. This is so good. All right. Let's move. Uh, which Alex, which one do you think it is? Which one do you think is a real post? The real pick? Because knowing me, I would do the dumbest shit. Like, that's because obviously I'm kidding because I put Taco Tuesday. So I would think it's, it's, I would it's, think like, it's Brett, but I also think it could be the cow one would make too much sense. And I don't make sense at all. So I don't think it's, I'm going to say it's the cow though. Okay. Let's see the real post. 
It is the power. Oh, right. I knew it. All right. I love steak. All oh wow, I, I was awful in 2018. Got what it right. Okay. Hey, it's okay. It's 2023. You can redeem yourself now. Make some noise for our comedians as we move on to the next round. Yes. Tyler, how's everybody doing on the scores? Give us an update. Oh man, Alex is coming right back. Him and Avery are tied in third place with 1,000 points. Ooh. And Michael still in the lead with 1,100 points. 1,100 points. Woo-hoo! It is close. You're the leader. You're the leader. Woo! It is anybody's You're game. Me, Michael. All right, so now we're going to play a game. <laughs> there's, this, uh, there's this book. I don't know if y'all know this down here in Austin. There's this book about screenwriting. It's called Save the Cat, right? This is a very, you know, it's a thing we do in L.A. People want to learn how to write scripts and stuff. We want to write good movies. But this show's about doing stuff wrong, right? So we're here to fuck up movies. That's why we're playing around called Shave the Cat. <laughs> and murder it. Yeah. This is uh, a little darker artwork than I asked our graphics team to create, but you know what? <laughs> yeah, this is fucked up. Avery sent her a nude pic. It's a good cat. I said the cat should be holding on to the noose, not fully inside the noose. But you know what? We're going to roll with feels, it. This feels like... What white people think of when they say reverse racism to me? I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> they're hanging cats and they're nude. I don't know. <laughs> All right. That cat is terrifying. That is a terrifying cat and a terrified cat. And here's how this round's going to work. We've taken beloved movie franchises, and it's this comedian's job, all of them, to ruin those franchises. They're going to have 15 seconds apiece to ruin a franchise, and we are going to start off with... Uh, uh, a beloved, absolutely beloved franchise, Star Wars. Right? So one by one, they're going to come up and they're going to tell us in 15 seconds how they would ruin Star Wars. We're going to start with Michael Day Day. Michael. Come on up to the mic. Make, uh, make your case. When we say go. Are you ready? Yes. Good. Box starts now. All right. Uh, uh, how, you, how, you, how you ruin Star Wars is... Uh, you you uh, you let Rain Johnson direct all three of the new films. I think that's it. And uh, I think that's your time. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the 15 seconds goes fast. They already had incest in Star Wars. We already got it. Yeah, there's lots of it. There's a lot of it. All right. <laughs> Avery, you are on the clock. Your time starts now. Okay. Picture this. All right. It's like Cheers. Okay, but it's the cantina. So it's just it's just Cheers. But in the famous cantina, and all the whole show, it's just like da 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 really loud. Time. Every more, we got Alex Kiro coming to the stage. Alex, you ready? Yeah. All right, time starts now. Uh oh. Uh oh. You know how you run Star Wars? You introduce Jar Jar Binks. All right. That, shockingly, might have been the most well-received answer from the audience. Use your microphone, or you can talk into that. You have a microphone. I just want everyone to know, this week, my dad is on disability, so he watches one movie every day and calls me now for the past two weeks. He watched Taken the other day and didn't know who Liam Neeson was, and his reference for who Liam Neeson was was the guy from Star Wars with the Chinese name. That's what he said. That was his words. So, yeah, his name is Qui-Gon Jinn, if you did do that. That's incredible. That's pretty good. Yeah. Qui-Gon Jinn. Well, let's move on to our next franchise. And hit it one more time, Tyler. Barbie, new hot franchise on the block. Michael Day Day, you have 15 seconds to ruin it. Well, should we reverse it? Because he had to go first last time. You know what? That's a great point. Alex, you're going to go first this time. Fuck! Hey. <laughs> got your ass. Right. Alex, you got 15 seconds to ruin Barbie. Starting. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm waiting. Oh, oh. oh my God! Oh jeez! Uh, you know what? No, start, start it now. Start the time. Uh, Starting now. Uh, how do you ruin Barbie? Uh, you make it. You make it a movie. You made the movie that you made. I don't know if you guys watched Barbie, but uh, Ben Shapiro hated it, and that's all you need to know. Uh, so you ruin Barbie by making it a movie. All right. That and that's time. <laughs> How do you ruin Barbie? Avery Moore, you're on the clock starting now. Um, well, they did. They already ruined it because nobody scissored it. None of the... Because there, there weren't true. any Barbie sex. Yeah, there true. were no Barbie sex scenes. There was no hard fucking scissoring. And we all know that that's what Barbies do. That's time. And that is a spot on fucking answer from Avery Moore. Wow, that's really true. Let's go ahead and move on to our final... No sex. 
Michael Dayday, How Do You Ruin Barbie? How Do You Ruin Barbie? Um, ladies, you let a man direct it, am I right? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was my other joke there I was going to say, but uh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, which man? You got four seconds. Oh, what man? Yeah. Samuel Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's time! These motherfucking Who directed... Barbies on this plane? I don't know. Who directed... <laughs> on Who this directed... motherfucking Barbie plane. Who directed Barbie? <laughs> Greta Gerwig. Greta Gerwig. Greta Gerwig. <laughs> So <laughs> let's move on. Let's, let's okay. move on. Do you like Greta Gerwig? Yeah. Let's why? Why? I can I, I don't know anything about it's, her except that she oh, sucks. Why did I book the dumbest person in Austin Dude, to do fuck. this show? Yeah, let's fucking. Yeah. Go. Why did we put Avery on anything? this show? You started off instead by saying no, really I don't even know what my most fucked really up jokes job. are. <laughs> this is your fault, Yorgo. All right, moving <laughs> right along. Yorgo, this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> to our final. For Texas, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Avery, good. we're going to start with you. Start with me? Yes. Um, musical, baby. <laughs> How do you solve a problem like rural Texas? And then they just fucking murder everyone and wear all their flesh. And there's and there's tap dancing sequences, and it's like a guar show. Just fucking flap, flap, flap. That's, that's, that's the noise. That's a good way uh, to start yeah, things Texas up. Chainsaw. All right, when your time starts now. Michael uh, so Lady. You let Tony Hinchcliffe do an Eddie Murphy freestyle where he plays all the characters he's pinning he's pinning his eyes back <laughs> he's, pinning, <laughs> he's pulling his eyes back and he's just doing that accent that i'm not gonna do the whole time i think that would be fucking hilarious <laughs> that's time oh my God. I, I, alex kiro how do you ruin texas chainsaw massacre uh, go I, I, this is how you live i think you, you you're just making an all black cast the movie's over in 12 seconds because they're like nah fuck that we're not doing that and they leave and the movie's over Fuck y'all, that's thank you, it's true. Uh, it's true, yeah. yeah. Like, it's I mean, all, it's not it's bad. all a bunch just... of hot white girls are like, what are we doing? And that's time. I'm dead. Yeah, thank you, you Canadian, I mean, you British weirdo. <laughs> she's American. Oh, yeah, well, she's fucking getting fucked by Brexit, It's too. a green card marriage. <laughs> <laughs> What's... Oh, uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, like uh, in prison. You know yeah. all about that, right? Wouldn't you, Jack the Ripper? Shut up, dude. I like this. <laughs> Let's well, shave the cat, everybody. Let's shave the cat. What a time! What a round. Did you mean gangbang? Uh, I think you meant you. That's the Barbie one. <laughs> My God. Ma'am, are you okay? <laughs> Let's. <laughs> Let's hear how everybody's doing. Tyler, how's everybody's scores? All right, uh, sorry to hear about your score there, Alex. You're in third place, 1,100 points. <laughs> Avery's in second place with 1,300, and Michael still in the lead with 1,500 points. Oh, Woo! Right. Thanks, Dad, for not knowing who Liam Neeson was. <laughs> That'll help. With it shiny. I don't know who, damn it. Now, before we go on with the show, we have a brief word from our sponsors. Uh, let's go ahead and check in with our sponsors. Click it one more time. A message to companies and corporations. If you go woke, you'll go broke. Huh. That rhymed. <laughs> if you don't think we should be allowed to have guns, you're about to have way less funds. <laughs> that one kind of rhymed too. <laughs> If you don't think all lives matter, your wallet is about to get sadder. <laughs> okay, yeah. <clears throat> if you think there's more than two genders, your profits are about to enders. Okay. If you believe in legalized abortion, your business will be a portion of what it used to be. Bars. If you think people should be allowed to vote without an ID, your business won't be patronized by anybody. If you think drag queens should be allowed to read to kids, if your business is set up in a way where you write a proposal to a company and then receive bids, you will receive no bids. <laughs> Martinelli's gold medal, 100% pure apple juice. You used to find us in gas stations. 
but not anymore. <laughs> Big noise for our sponsor, Martinelli's that Apple Juice, good. everybody. That was really funny. <laughs> and hey, Jay, let's take a moment to thank our staff here at Sunset. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you guys yeah. Thank you. Haley, Colton, thank Grant, you. Ray, and Maddie. You. Tip, I'll make some, some money. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, thanks. Make sure if you haven't bought any drinks, buy some drinks. And if buy you some haven't drink, drink, tip, tip them. Tip them. Tip them. Tip them well. All right. Let's move on to our next round. It is time for the discomfort zone. Mm. This is a round where we ask uncomfortable questions personally tailored to each of our comedians. Oh, this makes me want to throw up. I've been thinking about this. Personally tailored. We've done I've been some, thinking about this for days. Yes. We've done, we've done some deep dives on everybody. We've done some hard research, and we have come up with some really interesting things. We've found some things. stuff. We're going to start off with Michael Day Day. Michael. Let's go. Come on up, bud. Come on up, and let's see what got we got this, here. Man. You got let's this, go. dude. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I gotta go on the other side. Yeah, come on over here where we can see ya. There we go. Okay, so we uh, we found this tweet of yours. Okay. This is a pretty this is a pretty recent tweet. I wake up every day and pray my brothers in Christ learn the difference between a big ass woman and a woman with a big ass. And so got this video with this yes. South African woman dancing. Yes. Now, first of all, what kind of woman is she? I you know. I, this tweet doesn't do a difference because her face, that's what was missing from this, okay? Everyone was commenting, oh, that ass, I need that ass. And she turned around and she looked like that one Pokemon that's supposed to be a pit bull. And I was like, stop getting fooled by the ass, right? It's something that we all got to work on. You know, we've all fallen victim to it. And uh, I think that's just a portly white woman, to be honest with you. A portly white, okay. A portly white woman. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PPW, well, so. No. Now that we have the definition of I wouldn't what, call her portly at all. She's no. got a fat ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that woman is not portly no, at all. No, 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 not at all. She it just was, got a fat ass. It's all in the neck. Is yeah. the, <laughs> it's all in the it's neck. It's all in the way they move that neck around. So the neck, that's it's how you tell it's a big forth. ass woman. Yeah, you know how in that movie, leg. you know in that movie Ray Charles was like touching people's wrists and he was like, nah, she's, she's ugly. And the wrist, <laughs> yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you, you gotta get a little rope for the neck. All right. <laughs> Well, let's find out. We've got a few people, and we want you to tell us whether they are big-ass women or women with big asses. Let's do it. Let's start things off. Tyler, hit that clip. So, please, <laughs> we, we want you to explain <laughs> really, explain oh. why, in case we, it's not apparent this already, whether the following women are big-ass women or women with big asses, okay? Let's do it. <laughs> this I've never is so funny. This hear him say that ever. Let's start this off. Here's your first one, uh, Iggy Azalea. Oh, Iggy, is a, that's a woman with good with, with good leggings. That's all. I've done <laughs> good leggings. I've done research. Iggy Azalea doesn't have an ass, and it was for educational purposes. It wasn't for horny reasons at all. Were, it was when you were a teacher. I'm gonna Google yes. this <laughs> for research. For plan so I'm putting breasts. her in the undecided category. Big Und ass woman. She's like six foot eight. Yeah, big ass <laughs> woman. She's yeah. six foot eight. Yeah, well, good point. Good point. I'm not yeah. even Google it. You're right. Look at her. She's as tall as a kangaroo. You know, she's from like New Zealand or whatever. So <laughs> that's a big ass woman. She's you know? from New Zealand. She's got shoulders like uh, she's Australian. Shoulder. Yeah, she's, she's like Australian. Yeah, that one. See. <laughs> Next woman. Next woman. <laughs> Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates. Now see, that's a woman with the big ass. What? Right. That's the one with the big ass. No, yes, everything around her is also big, but you gotta focus on the ass, and it's all in the neck. Like I said, look at that neck. That's a good neck. Look right? at that neck. Well, hold on, hold on. Can I? Yes. Can we argue? Can we rebuttal? Sure, of course. If but you I'm want, expert no, no, no. on this. That she's even. No, I think you're wrong on this. I think she's just. I don't know. No, Kathy Bates, great actress. I think she's a heavy set woman. That's not a big ass. Look, she. It's. It kind of just goes straight down. Even she's. Legged up. Also, I had no idea Kathy Bates did nudes. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kathy Bates has done everything. Yeah. These she are has. things I don't want to know. She's it's brilliant. Like, <laughs> hey, look, we got more research to do. That was yeah, like don't forget, they, you're arguing with a lawyer. He's yeah. a professional. That was like when the dad from Boy Meets World was racist in that one movie. I was like, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Put it away. <laughs> what movie is this? This is about <laughs> Schmidt. <wants> see it. <laughs> she was nominated for an Oscar for this role, for this oh, nude scene. What oh, is definitely. this, Forrest Gump? Well, you know what? <laughs> if she got an Oscar for it, Woman with a big ass. Let's give her her flowers. Let's do it. That's the spirit. Your final woman, Elastigirl. Oh, boy. Yeah, that From The Incredibles. Mm. You know, this is a woman beep, who beep, can go beep. in between being a big ass woman and a woman with a big ass because of her elasticity, right? You know? So you can't, it's also an optical illusion. She might have no ass, 
or she might just be purposely stretching that out because her husband is a misogynist, making her live up to these unrealistic beauty standards. Am I right? Look at that waist. You think she wants to have that tiny waist? No. But Mr. Incredible does. What a chauvinistic pig. Am I right? Exactly. I would See, never. As a woman, I would, disagree. Mrs. Incredible has a dump truck. <laughs> she got a <laughs> fucking. <laughs> also, dump and truck. I love it. I'm not so is she both? Is she I both? would never. I would never tell a woman. I would never stand up and tell a woman how to shape her body, even if she had that powers. I would listen. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what? Well, 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 right, hey, real quick. That's would you, such a hey, good. Well, but day 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 day. Yeah. Would you smash? Yeah, would you smash? Uh, would, you smash? Would, you, would you smash? Would you smash? If you were single, removed from any thing or anybody that's in this room, would you smash? If I was converted into an animatronic Pixar version of myself and presented with the opportunity to smash, in this world, I would, yeah, maybe. I don't like know. If you did. That's, that's a big ass woman, then. I think that's a big ass woman. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> From Michael Day Day, everybody. Michael, Michael Day Day. <laughs> All right. I had no idea you tweeted right? so well. My turn. By the way, I would just like to point out, Michael. Earlier, I think last year, we this is another tweet we found for you. We didn't put it in the show, but you did literally tweet every day. Pixar animators wake up and choose horny <laughs> with a picture <laughs> of another big ass Pixar lady. That's a good point. It's yeah. a good point. All right. Avery. Yes. So you are uh, from San Antonio. Yes. We, go we, Spurs, go. We watched this documentary. Of course, you talk I about me from San Antonio. San Antonio. Oh, God, I'm going to throw one. I left a very comfortable job. Let's move to Austin and be poor so I can tell jokes. Uh, Different time. Different time. But that was that was the first time I did the Paramount. I opened for Maria Bamford. Very exciting. Cool. Yeah, I've been successful for a long time. Thanks. Yes. Now we, but I'm so poor. <laughs> it's you, okay. It's all about the art. You have a lot of love for San Antonio. I do. Yeah. San Antonio Spurs. Big fan of San yeah, Antonio Spurs. Yeah, I got a Tim Duncan tattoo right here. Yeah. And I have the Texas flag, but with the Fiesta Spurs colors nice. right there. And there we go. Uh, Greg Popovich is my dad. <laughs> hey. So you might be familiar with uh, Charles Barkley's beef. Yes. I'm a very Antonio. aware of Char Charles Barkley's opinion of San Antonio women. Now, if you don't know, <laughs> this is what Charles Barkley thinks about San Antonio women. I've uh, watched this <laughs> video. He loves uh, he to... He says it a lot. He says it a lot. He's he, been saying it for like 20 years. He's been constantly talking about how San Antonio women are fat and always eating churros. We have some footage. Roll that yeah. clip, Tyler. Oh, that goes from San Antonio women. <laughs> <laughs> What they wear, Chuck? They wear them big old bloomers down there, Chuck. <laughs> big old bloomers? <laughs> they wear bloomers. <laughs> He's up on them churros. I love Greg Pompers and everything. The fans are great down there. Right. They're just big. They're just big. I got two words for them. I'm full. <laughs> Put it down. I be whooping them, them churros. <laughs> This is from a video called Eight Minutes of Charles Barkley Roasting <laughs> I, I San Antonio Women. I watched that on YouTube. It's quite a video. Yeah. Now, he actually recently was stopped. The TNT producers of Inside the NBA said, you can't joke about fat women anymore on Inside the NBA. Oh. But, newsflash, he's still at it. Yeah. As of March 13th, 2023, Charles Barkley <laughs> went back to fat shaming San Antonio women in his recent comments. All right. So, as a San Antonian... Tyler, why do you think Charles Barkley thinks women from San Antonio are all fat churro eaters? Um, I don't know if you've been to San Antonio, but a lot of people are fat. Uh, <laughs> so it's just, it's kind of just an observation. Um, it's pretty terrible that he has been saying it on, uh, on television for 20 years, just demoralizing the female fans of the San Antonio Spurs um, and then talking about their appearance. I don't think that's cool. Um, but the fact of the matter is that um, we get down down there. So uh, that's probably why he thinks that. <laughs> Because we love to fucking eat. <laughs> there you go. Hey, listen. We can't argue with the facts. I'm just being honest. But we, that's what we're here for. Yeah. We're here to be honest. We make our own tortillas, unlike Austin. So. Oh, I like but, that. Suck my dick. <laughs> He's got the cute, the cute cousin boys are shaking their heads. They know. Austin they does not make really understand. They're, oh, God. When it's like a little pillow. They get it. It's like when you, like you high-five a ghost. Don't even get me started about the sopapillas. What Ooh, a beautiful sopa thing. Sopapillas. Raise the flag, baby. Yes. <laughs> ding, ding. I love... 
I like going to San Antonio's. Like, this music this, is really making me anxious. It is. By the way. Well, the San San Antonio's basketball stadium is really comfy because everyone down there is so fat. The seats are bigger, <laughs> and it's a great it's a great stadium. It's the best stadium in the league. Yeah. yeah. Let's move on. Thank you, Avery Moore. Thank you, Woo! All right, now we're on a uh, good old Alex Kiro. Alex, come on up. What? We're getting into the discomfort zone now. We uh, we found this tweet from your bad Twitter. I have a, I, I just told about oh yeah. So nice one. Just get on stage so bad. I'll just go do karaoke. <laughs> this was yesterday. Go look how he spelled go. Well, look, look how he spelled go. Look how he spelled go. <laughs> He's from a fucking Louisiana boy. 14 likes. Okay? That's better than almost every tweet we've ever found for in Tweetman, by the way. Nice work. Nice, nice work. Um, we, uh, we know how much you love karaoke. Even some of the guys here, some of the staff here, were talking about, do you have a set of pipes on you? Oh, boy. All right? So, if you're up for it, will you sing a few songs for us? We will pick the songs. Alex! Oh, well, what are the songs? The oh, no. Well, does Day Day pick up? Because me picks them up. No, 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 no. <laughs> we have the song. We have three songs already ready, picked, oh, ready to go. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, sure. Of course, I'm, I'm game. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Want to do it? Oh, so you're gonna have to roll with us here because okay. some of these <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> they don't have karaoke versions for all the songs that we picked. Oh God damn it! Uh, you sons of bitches. The first one's classic karaoke style. This one is something that I think everybody in the audience might. Let's go ahead and start rolling the, sh the footage, Tyler. Oh, that one more beautiful time. bean footage. So this is one, you know, we're Short gonna have people. you sing this one. Yeah, I Randy think. Randy Newman. If you know the words to this one, go ahead and sing along <laughs> with Alex. We're getting there. Can I sing a gospel style? Whoa! <laughs> Short people got no reason. And stand up. Short people got. No reason! Let me see how short you are. Shut people got <laughs> no reason to live. <laughs> little hairs, they got little lines. <laughs> they walk around like <laughs> hell, great big lines. I said, Shut people got no teeth. They wear platform shoes on their nasty little feet. Well, don't want no short people out. Don't want no short people out. Don't want no short people around here. Come here there right we go. Here. Alice wow. Kiro. Wow, uh, that's the fuck you, you son of a bitch. Song number one. All right. So, oh, God damn it. So your second song. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> we could not find a karaoke version of this song. <laughs> so we're just going to play a little snippet with the words. It's a Ted Nugent song. Oh, Predator. Close. <laughs> it's a song called Jailbait. Yeah. <laughs> it feel good to be true. I know what you're probably keen. The only thing I got to do to you. Not gonna sing the rest of this song. I'm gonna make up my own words. I sound like that one guy at the New York Comedy Cellar that just sings and doesn't tell jokes. What is his name? I can't remember. All right. <laughs> that was pretty good. I didn't know. Ted Ted Nugent really liked singing about underage women. Did he yeah, just, he really did, liked to was the first line. Really did, Wait, yeah. Can you replay the first line of that song real we quick? We can play it. Throw the acapella version. <laughs> This man was an admitted pedophile. Well, I don't care if you're just 13. Hey, man, look, the, the 80s 13, were the 80s were a different time. You look too good to be true. Like, yeah. Ted anyway. Nugent. I didn't know Ted Nugent was such a fucking badass. Oh boy. <laughs> this is like <laughs> the end. Dude, the fuck I call this is a, it's a goddamn dumb. It's called wrong. We're supposed to be wrong. I'm trying to. What are you doing? Crystalia and not Matt Rife. <laughs> yeah. Get you the tape. Hey man, look. Everybody's got their preferences. <laughs> <laughs> so, Guys, fuck y'all, dude. We're supposed to be making wrong jokes. That's the name. It says wrong on the headline. I love it. This is what we're here for. He, they yeah. put it on, not me. This is our point. <laughs> so we have one more. This is a song. Uh, I don't know if you know. I didn't know it. Uh, it's called the Black National Anthem. Do you know this song? I do actually know it, man. You I grew do? Up in New Orleans. I fucked up. Yeah, I gotta know it. Oh, my God. Okay, I great. Every word wrong. <laughs> well, we have the song. Do you... 
I don't want you to know the lyrics to it, though. We want you to try and see if you can get the lyrics. I know the song, but I don't know the lyrics. Like, do you oh, understand? great. Yeah, I watch the NFL. Well, we don't want you to... Me. No, don't, 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 don't. no, we're going to have you hey, stand man. here, and you're going to face away from the karaoke lyrics. Oh, well, no, that's not... Uh, okay, I'm just going to make up lyrics. Uh, that's, kind of the, that's kind of what we were <laughs> thinking you might do anyway. Day day, help. <laughs> I was... Take a knee. <laughs> wow, that guy's actually really funny, dude. He's All right. Hilarious. He's hilarious. He, needs that to guy, he actually should win the game. If I yeah. <laughs> now, we're going to see what the lyrics are behind you, uh, behind Alex. Can I get a peek of the first lyrics so I can get off, I can, I can get off to a running start? Yeah. You know what? Yeah, you know what? That's fine. We're going to let that happen. Let's can go ahead and start the clip, Tyler. Guys, can we stop? Can go we stop? start the song. We're going to ask the only black lady. Can I get a look at the first part? Oh fuck yeah! Okay, cool. This is the uh, the Beyonce version, by the way. Okay, I'll 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 tell you when the song starts. We got a nice I little intro. I don't want a lot for Christmas. <laughs> I don't think it's that. Okay. Keep it going. Keep it. There we go. Lift every voice and sing. Close enough. <laughs> for me and you. And all the people around, we are one, we are the same. These are real we lyrics are together playing by in this. Why does it sound like a battle hymn? What the fuck is happening? Wait, what am I supposed to do now? Well, but sing about the struggle. <laughs> <laughs> sing about the things that I know to be wrong. Just tell me you're sorry <laughs> Of liberty Just tell me you know How easy it was in the beginning for you And to, uh, was <laughs> that was, you, know, you did better than we thought you were going to do <laughs> You sang a song, but it was did. way off <laughs> Way off Way off, dude, yeah, that I mean pretty. That doesn't sound like, wait, can I see what it actually was? No, we didn't have time for that <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, we're running up against it, folks. We're that gonna was, go ahead. Wow, that felt the most discomfort. That and, was fun. And make some noise for everybody for going through the discomfort zone. What a time! Woo! That was fun. That was actually you really, did a really fun. good job. Yeah. Y'all are, <laughs> by the way, a great slate of contestants. I'm so excited. We've had uh, we've had a great time on the show, Tyler. We're almost done. Tell us what our scores are at this point. Wow, wow, what a round! Third place, Avery with 1,800 points, and Alex jumped into second place with that great. Uh, round there with 2,000 points. Michael still in first with 2,100 points. Oh, all right. We found our guy, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'm it an ally. It's close. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, folks, we're going to, you know, we want you guys to, to, you know, we're so happy you came here, saw these wrong things with us. But, you know, if you might be feeling a little weird after things, you've heard a lot of wrong stuff, we want you to get out of here on a nice note, tell your friends about us, follow us, see what we got going on. So we're going to cleanse everybody's palates. We've asked these comedians for a palate cleanser. Tyler, uh, one oh, more time. No. You're going to tell us, we've asked them to tell us their most wholesome joke. And this is going to be for all the marbles. One of you is going to win based on how this joke does. All right? And you have the choice. You can either take your points uh, and keep them safe. Shove it. <laughs> you can shove your points. Take or these points. You can put them all in, risk it all. Aww. On the strength of you think what your wholesome joke is. Now, Avery, you're in last place. We're going to start with you. Do you want to... I'm going to bet it all. That's what Let's we go. like to hear. None of this is real. <laughs> Get on up here. Make it life for Avery Moore. Oh, wait. It's okay. It's okay. I got it's it. It's okay. We got it. Thanks. Okay. So, here so, we go. <clears throat> quick question. Yes. Uh, is it like just a one-liner bit? <laughs> what is it? Should have read the email. <laughs> Let's just. <laughs> I did read the email. I'll just ask just you that. Quick, just quick, quick just clean, quick. wholesome joke. Let's see what you got. I love you. Fuck you. I'm sorry. Avery Moore, everybody. Make it loud for Thank Avery. You. You. Avery Moore, everybody. Uh, why did Seal, um, how did Seal, uh, the musician, how did Seal get all of those scars on his face? How? Well, from kissing all those thorny roses, of course. <laughs> got him. Avery Moore, everybody! Ooh. That's pretty fun. That's a good that's a good place to start from. Thanks. It's pretty wholesome. I like it. Alex, you're in second place. Do you want to play it safe or risk it all? I'm at 2,000? Yeah. What, what is Avery at? Avery's at 1,800, but she risked it all. Yeah. What, what date is 21? Yeah. Do it. Do it. Risk it. 
And if I may just offer, do it. Let's do it. Let's if do I may it. offer some advice, just at the end, go, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that helps with the wholesomeness of it. Of course. Like a horse. Ha slap. Like how a like how a horse talks. I was like, slap. Slap. Alex Cora, everybody! Woo! Slap the microphone on your leg when you're done. They like that. They love sounds. <laughs> How do five gay men walk? How? In one direction. You know what? That's pretty, pretty that's good. Solid. All right. Pretty good. That's solid. A little schoolyard humor. <laughs> Did I bet the house? Yeah. Yeah, okay, great. I'll take house. it. I bet the house. I like the straight lace, like, like street jokey direction everybody's taking. This is nice. This is I read the email. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, right? All right. Let's close things out. It's Michael Day Day. Do you want to risk it all? Or let's go. Let's, let's risk it all. Let's risk it all. Though. Let's go. Michael Day Day risking it all. So I'm in this competition right now, and it's called the funniest person in Austin. Have you heard of that? It's funniest person in Austin. It's it's all these comics. They compete for a bunch of weeks to see who the funniest person in Austin is, and none of them are the funniest person in Austin. That's the funniest thing about it. Because the funniest person in Austin is this homeless guy on Lavaca. Have y'all seen him? He wears the suit. No, he wears the suit. There's a homeless guy on Lavaca, he wears a suit and he does a Jay Leno impression. And he's like, have you seen this? Have you heard of this? Have y'all seen that guy? And he, and he goes, folks, have you seen? And he takes his dick out. He goes, have you seen this? Have you heard of this? That's the funniest guy in Austin. I'm sorry. Who is funnier than him? Someone tell me. That's my joke. That's the only thing I have. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty wholesome for a dick joke. I like that. All right. Well, now... The audience is going to decide who had the most wholesome joke to round things out for this round. We're going to see everybody risked it all, so whoever gets the audience vote wins the grand prize. Holy Whoa. shit! You What's forgot the, the jokes. Quick refresher. One Direction. How do five gay men walk in one direction? Uh, how did Seal get all those scars on his face? Well, from kissing all those thorny roses, of course. <laughs> And we just heard it. And homeless man taking his finger <laughs> out. I will say, in a suit. Can, the can, definition can of clean. I say, can I say we, yeah. we we've had we've talked about there's a, so, there's a homeless guy that walks around six with the biggest dick in the world. You're like, how the fuck are you homeless, dog? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's a black guy. Sorry. You got one more in. I believe me. I would have went home with you. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's hear it. We're gonna do this applause meter style. So make it loud. Make it definitive for your favorite comic, Alex Kiro, a polite smattering, Avery Moore. She loves you as much as she loves Target. Michael Day Day. You know what? That sounds definitive. Our winner, the most wrong person, Avery Moore. Now everybody gets some prizes on this show. <laughs> Five more minutes. Tyler, tell them what they won. Well, Jay, first, let's give a prize to our audience member that we love so much. Why don't you tell them what it is, Jay? Oh, Tyler, you tell them what it is. Right, well, show, 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 show to everybody first. Yeah, show it. Right. Oh, man. Well, With a lovely it? shirt purchased at Goodwill earlier today What's for $2.99. Yeah. yeah, dude, take that back to your country and suck it. Put oh, it on, put it on. yeah. Put it on. yeah. Put it on. Tell everybody where you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Bring him up on stage. Bring him up on stage. Come on, 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 Ah, all right. Oh, no, 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 no. What's a badly cooked pizza and a baby in Hawaii got in common? What? They're both delivered burnt. Oh. 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 Two oh. things. Oh. Uh, topical. So fresh. Comedy and food. Okay. Chris, get on out of here. Oh. Thank you, Chris. Right, Kill yourself. Third prize. <laughs> third prize. Third prize winner. I don't know who it is. You decide. The Golden Glory, everybody. This is a book. I got it. Uh, it's the wow. Golden Glory. 
Wait, there's it's a note American on it. American athletes speak their faith. There's a note on it. There's a note from 1963. Can I read wow. the note? Yeah, the note read. says, hey there, son of mine. Carry on and believe. The date on the inside of this cover. True and true to life, that's what it is. It's still good reading. It comes with love 16 years later. We should have fucked. Love, Mama. I don't know. That's crazy. Wow, wow. Oh, wow. And second place, second place. You also get a book. It's I Ain't Got the Time to Bleed by Jesse the Body Ventura, everybody. Oh, I thought go. it was Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time to bleed, big dog. This is uh, crazy. Hey, dude, you want to trade books? No, I don't. Um, I don't like the weird 1963 to... vibes of that book. If you read the back, you can see it says, I have nothing to hide. I am who I am. I got elected governor by just being who I am. So I owe it to the people who voted for me to keep on being me. This right. is the Body of Ventura. Yeah, it's just the Body of Ventura, everybody. It's good for him. And our grand prize, our grand prize, Jay, it's a Billy Joel live at Yankee yeah. Stadium. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what's inside? What's inside? Wait, but actually... There was a in my little uptown world. No, I never up, Jay. did it. Oh, oh, open it up what? because there, that well, wasn't the DVD that was in it. It was the well, Dick Tower well, High School well, class of 59, the 50th well, anniversary well, slideshow. This is incredible. Thank you. Uptown the girl. girl would have been great, you got me living in an uptown world. Thank you guys so much. No, I never meant to. Well, we're at Burr Comics. Michael Dana, Henry Moore, Alex Kiro, Tyler Mesnerich, all the staff here at Simpson Strip. I'm in Jay Light. If you like the show, please follow us at Wrong Game Show. We'll know when you come back in town. Guys, one more time for Jay. And fucking Tyler, look at that. Take your phone and follow the show right now. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Break those seals. Rip it with your teeth. <laughs> Keep your cats and, and pets not spayed and neutered. Let them fuck. Bye. Yes.